What up, it's your girl, Mina. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mina, not Mina. What is up? How goes it? And we've got an up and down situation. So today I'm going to be trying out new products and answer questions that you had for me on my Instagram page. So we gonna just get into it, okay? And let's prime my lips and I'll tell you what's new as well. It's gonna be a chatty video. I did my nails. These are glue on nails. It's wicked easy. I do it on my own time and it's so affordable, okay? I love, however, the women who are killing it, making the custom nails, you know? These are not custom, but I do plan one day to try out some custom nails because they're just so cute. For new primer, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. Have you ever used this? Do you have it? Is it true? Does it work? Can you tell me in the comments? Let me know. I'm going to have to go this way because my nails, I could do this, but oh, I could do that. Okay, let me save the integrity of this primer and not dig into it. I can just do this. <laughs> All right, tell me if this works. And it's really affordable too, which is great. And I have the e.l.f. primer for my eyes. Alrighty, so over on Instagram, I asked y'all to ask me some questions and y'all sure did. I peeked at them, but not all of them. I wonder if I should set this because I still look, I still look shiny. I mean, with matte primers, I usually like to see my skin get dry visibly right away, you know? That did not happen just now. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. <laughs> My skin isn't visibly dry, however, the Revlon primer does the same thing, but it doesn't keep me that matte. So now I'm feeling like this is gonna be similar to the Revlon primer, but we gonna find out, are we not? We are. I'm not gonna set it with powder because I wanna just see how it behaves. I should put on the L foundation, shouldn't I? I'm gonna just do the Maybelline Superstay. This is a matte foundation, so it may help the primer to work. Like, you know, it'll compensate with the oil absorption. This is Maybelline Superstay in the color Deep Bronze. Take two pumps of this and get it going. I gotta look at the questions, hello. <laughs> I'm not gonna like your last post. Don't 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 message me asking you to like stuff. If I'm gonna like it, I'm gonna like it. Gosh, that is so annoying. That's the old school way to get people to engage with you. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. If I wanna like something, I'm gonna like it. If I wanna comment on something, I'm gonna comment. If I'm gonna repost, I'm gonna repost it. Let me do it genuinely. Don't ask me. That is just tacky. How long have you been on YouTube? I'm a new follower. Hey girl. Okay, well, I just recently came to YouTube. I was on YouTube maybe a year and a half ago and then I stopped. It's a lot of work and I couldn't balance it. <laughs> but since February, I came back. Was it February or was it January? One of those. I came back early this year because I have a little more time to offer to it and I have great goals for my YouTube channel. So I'm back. Here I am. And my goal is to put out a video every week. <laughs> I'm a lot more active on my Instagram channel. If you follow me there, then you know that, especially on my stories. I like to bring y'all just into my life on stories. It's a lot of work, you know, but I am made for the job. So I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna do it. What's your best tip for YouTube, YouTube whose niche is similar to yours? Okay, well, my best tip is to know what you're doing. Practice what you're doing enough where you know what you're doing at least 95% of the time and just keep on creating, keep on creating, keep on learning. So if I want to garner an audience of people who will look to me for beauty advice and recommendations, then I have to know what I'm talking about. If I want to garner, garner an audience who will look to me for looks, I need to know how to create looks. So you just need to know what you're doing and then make yourself an authority in that vertical. How do you make yourself an authority? Know what incarnation you're doing and just do it. A lot of it, you don't have to tell somebody. So for a while, I didn't have any title on my page called calling me a content creator, an influencer, whatever. I was just doing it. And I it wasn't even my intention. It just happened. No one, we didn't go to school for this kind of stuff. You see what I'm saying? So it just happened. And I was like, oh, I guess that is what I'm doing. Okay, I'll take the title and I'll take the check too. Praise the Lord. What is your testimony? What finally made you to decide to de fully devote your life to Christ? <laughs> uh, glad, glad you asked. I do have a testimony video on my YouTube channel that I made years ago when I was on here. So I encourage you to watch it, but long story short, your girl was up in a club, just woke up doing her own little thing, and I did not know Christ. This is the Juvia's Place number 10. I am Magic Concealer. I knew he was calling me to something different, but I just didn't respond, obviously, until <laughs> life got really hard. And life is still hard in some areas but uh watch that video because it goes all in depth going on three years now i'm gonna fan this down so it can dry just a smidge before i continue but my life in christ is just so much more peaceful granted i still have my troubles like life in christ doesn't mean you're gonna live a life of luxury that's not what it means it just means that now you have a source of peace in the midst of whatever is going on with you so no matter what is going on i have the choice and the authority to walk in peace so that is the main difference which i'm grateful to know i'm gonna set my face with the el cosmetic 
Cosmetics Matte Setting Powder in the color, this is the deep one for my face, so I'm gonna use tan. Let's see if tan behaves well. I hope it does not give me anything crazy. I should use this with a brush. Okay, so this isn't gonna be the product that I use a sponge to apply because it's not doing, it's just not working. All right, I'm gonna apply it with this brush just to help it look more even than it was. It just doesn't perform with the sponge the way that my other powders do with a sponge. And sometimes you have to do things a little bit differently depending on the product. And I'm seeing that here. Ooh, I forgot to contour, Jesus. All this talking, I forgot to cream contour my face. I forgot to cream contour my face, but that is fine. I'll make sure I contour with this CoverGirl Full Spectrum Powder Foundation toward the end of my process, which is what I was doing for several years. For several years, I was not doing cream contour because I was too afraid. Alrighty, so I've put powder on my forehead and I did my eyebrows using the Morphe Brow Pencil in the color Java, which is what I like to use. And then I, under my brow, used the same concealer on my face that I used from Juvia's Place. Why am I like? Then to prime my eyelid, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. Supposedly, it's it's supposed to make sure that your eye shadow is creaseless for 12 hours. I gotta use this more dense, stiff brush to apply it because of my nails. And I like that this is white. Bright colors are really gonna pop. Okay, I like how dry this is. I don't like when primers are too greasy, so I do like how dry this is. And I'm gonna be using the Nubian 2 palette from Juvia's Place to play on my eyes. What takes people's makeup to the next level? Blending, use of products? Girl, the whole thing takes them to the next level. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with Morocco. I love to blend in an orange, orangey brown. Ooh, this is very orange. I was not expecting this level of orange. Julia's Place, hello. The, what takes your makeup to the next level is knowing what colors to use. You gotta know what to use and where to put it. That is really, really key. Yes, blending is very important, but you can blend a purple, but then it might not look good because you didn't transition it with a pink. So you just have to know what color to put or what colors to use, what shades to use. And then of course the blending is very important. But if I wanna put it all in a nutshell, how do you achieve all of that? You gotta practice, period. You don't have much time, get up and make time. Don't wait till you have somewhere to go to say, oh, I'm gonna start doing my makeup. No, you're not, no, you're not. That's not how it works. It's important that you invest in everything that you need. So if you're talking about just doing your own makeup, then of course you need foundation, concealer, setting powder, face powder, you need your brow product you need maybe one or two palettes for eyeshadow and then blush oh contour and you need your lippy product i'm going back in with morocco i want this to be more orange up here oh yeah wow look at this at first i wanted to put her in the middle but i want her because that is really pretty and then this is the color zuri all right and in the corner i'm going to use this dark purple shimmery color it almost looks black this is the color layla i am literally winging this eye look i don't even know what i'm doing <laughs> but we need to put something in the crease to balance all of this out jezebel some more right here toward the end what inspired you to get into makeup i started off doing makeup because i came down with rosacea and my skin got discolored and i needed i needed to balance it out so i used concealer and that led to foundation eyebrows and the rest was history so I started just doing my own makeup. I did not start off as a makeup artist. That all just happened. Somebody asked about the masks that I use on Instagram. I use different kinds and I usually list them in the description. Where's my eyeliner? Right now I'm not sure what mask you're talking about exactly, but I do link them usually in the video description. Thank you, baby. In the description of the video that I'm using. So I encourage you to take a look at that particular video. Now, if for some reason I didn't link it like if i forgot to link into that video then send me a message please like for the for the video to me and ask me what mask i was using and i'll definitely let you know this is cover girl oh cover girl eyeliner in the color 320. what's your favorite ganyan dish oh my gosh ganajani dia hey. i have really slowed down on my ganajani because i grew up eating rice and stew every morning noon and night and even snack time so we don't make gana food in our house because we all love it so much that we know that is it is the enemy of progress enemy of progress we make a lot of healthy dishes and you know monkito excuse me oh, okay, Stella. hi uh -huh. you're making a Stella. debut in my video right now it's 
not your face, but it's your voice. Don't be rude. I told you I would show you what I would do when I want to take off any kind of fallout on my face. I have to take a powder. This is a, and then lightly wipe away what is already there. So powder takes away powder. Seam on the other side, just one wipe is good. Now I'm wiping off my brush because I'm not trying to blend this in. I'm trying to take off what's there. Now I'm gonna take the deep color of the e.l.f. matte setting powder and then use this big brush from, this big powder brush from Juvie's Place and I'm gonna apply this on my face. When was the last time you went to Ghana and do you plan to go soon? I went to Ghana, oh wow, 2008. It's been a very long time. Yes, I wanna go soon. I wanted to go for the year of return but that didn't happen so prayerfully within the next year or two. I do wanna go to Ghana though, I need to. What do you pray for in a husband? <laughs> Oh Lord, have mercy. You you see, I laugh because marriage isn't anything we tend to think it'll be like because we always look at marriage in the way that it benefits us. We don't look at it in the sense that this is gonna be something I'm endeavoring into in order to benefit somebody else. We're looking at it as in, how is this going to benefit me? What is he going to do for me? How am I gonna feel? And when I don't feel like this, what am I gonna do? That's not what marriage is about. That's not how God created marriage to be. It's about you giving your life for that person and vice versa. We have marriage all wrong. I had it all wrong going into it. And that's why I laugh because <laughs> you just you just need to really sit with God and learn the word about what marriage is about and you'll know what to pray about. But I wouldn't even pray for anything specifically in the husband. I would pray for something specifically in me. It really is about you. I believe God knows our heart for what we want in a marriage, what we want in a husband, but we really have to work on us because we have a lot that needs to be done, a lot of work to be done before going into a marriage. And I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that going in, <laughs> you know, none of us knew that. And I believe a lot of people still to this day don't realize that. And you don't realize it. You wanna know who you really are, marriage is gonna put put you right in front of your face. And it sometimes is a painful reality. It's like, excuse me, what do you mean? It's very easy to be like, I want this in a man, that in a man, he gotta do the, the, and the, and the, but it takes more than that for marriage to work. It takes so much more than that. I can't even, I'm laughing because it's not even funny. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's serious, okay? Take that. I'm sweating fast, so my face with makeup gets bubbles. What can I do to make my makeup last longer? Bubbles, hmm. Nowadays, since we have these, buy one and carry with you everywhere you go this summer. Okay, that's one do the best you can to make sure that you don't sweat i like this face powder actually i was a little nervous about it but applying it with the brush is good so i like it actually i'm gonna try the under eye powder again how do you get your edges to grow back girl i'm working on these edges you know using that edge growth thing my jiggy i'm using this right here wild growth and you see me applying this whenever i show you but i'm applying it morning and night and we're gonna see i took a picture of my edges before i began and i'm gonna do a side by side once i feel like it has gotten to a point that is noteworthy and then i'm gonna show y'all the progress i really hope that i have something good to say what do you do outside of beauty blogging and influencing. Well, my background is in higher education. That's my master's degree is in. That's what I studied. That's what I was doing before I came to Houston nine years ago. And then I've worked in higher ed. I've worked in secondary ed, which is high schools. I've worked in private schools for many, many years now. And then most recently, I have been doing this full time. I was doing this plus working full time for many years. So this is really recent, 2020. And it's so great because I have more time now to dedicate to what I'm doing and I love it. This is NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Black Bean. Tell us about your son and your husband. We wanna know, we love what you about and would love to see the people behind you. Well, honey, you need to watch my FAQ video on Instagram because I talk about that. I know that people are interested to know, well, she don't talk about her husband. She don't discuss her child. Well, like, you know, you see him, you might hear me say I'm doing this, doing that, but you don't see him and that's just all because of protection. Listen, it's cute to show your family online, especially if you have a really cute picture and you want to share it it's cute right but there's also something to be said about privacy there's also something to be said about the internet just being the internet and people really really feel like when you let them into your life even just a smidge they feel like you've now given them license i remember one time i went on a semi rant about people just people in my life in general always loving to be like when's the next baby coming when is this coming and it's like are you gonna pay for her child care are you gonna babysit for her when i have to travel for work like why are you so pressed about what i'm doing in my life you need to slow down and mind your business so i remember i was venting about this on instagram stories and it might have been one or two people that were like well you sign up for this 
this. And I'm like, excuse me, I didn't sign up for anything. So you can take that and go have a seat. You don't tell me what I signed up for and didn't sign up for. I understand the platform and I understand what's going on. And this is exactly the reason why people don't need to be all up in my business. Because yeah, there are some of you that are so sweet that I connect with and I'm like, you are just so awesome. I've given some of my audience my phone number. Like, you know, if I feel like you're genuine and we were talking about something and I really wanna help you or whatever, I don't mind to do that at all. But then there are some people who, you know, and as you get more exposure, those that's some, that some number becomes very large, okay? There's some people that just feel so entitled. They feel entitled to you. And I will be remiss the day that I allow people on social media to feel entitled to me and my life. I just can't imagine it. I cannot imagine it. The areas that people really want to see, which is my husband and my children or child, no, just no. <laughs> If something changes, you'll see that. I'm not about to be arguing with people online over my family. I just, I don't have that kind of time. I have terrible forehead acne. I've tried every acne cream. What serum or cream would you recommend? Listen, I recommend having a dermatologist and seeing him or her regularly. That's what I do. Although I haven't been to my dermatologist in a very long time because whatever she gave me, I had enough of. And then my skin really began to clear up. I think it was because of me treating my skin well with my skincare routine. I was never doing that. I didn't even know what that meant. So when I began to really take it, take responsibility for the status of my skin, my skin be began to behave well. I have rosacea and I get flare ups every now and then, but they have really simmered down. The first step is a dermatologist for sure, because I can't recommend a certain cream for acne. I'm not trained in that. Whenever I discuss skincare, it's always based on what I've used, what I've researched. I like to share with you what I researched so you can research for yourself. Everyone's skin is different. You really just have to do what works best for you. So I would recommend going to see a dermatologist for show. Sure. It's cute to have an influencer tell you what to put on your skin but you really have to do your due diligence and look these things up and ask your dermatologist if you have one find one pay your copay and have them tell you what works for you what's your favorite makeup brand you know i don't have a particular favorite although i really do love drugstore brands you can find everything you need at the same time when you go to the store to buy your chicken and your eggs i just love that i love that you can get all of it in one stop and now it's time to contour the face like i told you because i forgot to do it in the cream section hello this is the color Deep Cool CoverGirl True Blend Powder Foundation. One positive thing that has come out of the pandemic for me is a clearer understanding and reassurance that God is honestly on my side and he is controlling everything that I felt like was out of control. Not only that, is being able to spend more time with my family. Do you have a big goal? Yes, I have a big goal. I have a lot of big goals. And what I've learned is just it's good to keep them as goals until they come to fruition. So you can say, uh-huh, and this was my goal. <laughs> Everything and everyone is a spirit, okay? So you gotta protect what you what you praying for. You can't be out here just saying all of it. You know, you gotta just make moves and let it happen. I'm gonna take these two mented blushes, Clay Too Much and Peach for the Stars. Please do a video on your filming setup. I have one on my IGTV. There are series on my IGTV as well. Tech is one of them. And then I have one here, which is older, I think, but it'll give you the gist. Look at the one on IGTV though. I'll update the video at some point. What is that? hair the thank you i've been upgrading my quality whenever i can because it's important to me where did you come from in ghana let me call her because i always get this mixed up hi ma hi SSA. Uh, yeah what are you doing hey Hey. Oh, all right. Say no, I know, but I thought that was another word. I thought that was another place. Okay, I don't know why. Yes. I want to make a black paper scissors machine. Okay, please, Mamba. What's the answer to me? Who to a roof, a woo, Kumasi, but village, hometown. Hometown. Yeah. Watch this. Mate. 
what are some of your favorite guided devotionals? Okay, so one of the books that I finished reading through this year is a green book and it's, uh, I'll show it to you here. It is a devotional by Christine Kane. I love it because it takes you through every day of the year. You read the scripture, you read the devotional and you can, and then at the bottom it tells you what to pray for. So I love that and that's great for beginners who just aren't really sure what to do. I'm glad you watched the video. Comment and let me know what aspect of this look you enjoyed and make sure you're following me on Instagram and not underscore adubia. And also comment and let me know where you're from. Thanks for watching, bye.